guys, it's Sparks here at No FOMO Crypto Bro, and today let's talk about the partnership between Verge and everyone's favorite adult entertainment site, Pornhub. So this news came out a few days ago, and you guys have probably heard about it by now. It had some great marketing behind it, it had a video going around the internet. It's the partnership between Verge and and Pornhub. Um, now a few weeks ago we saw on the twitter that there was going to be a partnership upcoming and no one knew what it was and to be honest i didn't see this coming as it, it's fairly significant or at least that's what it was projected to be by you know verge supporters and at this point you know Ver verge bag holders what, what did you think about this jeff I, I know you saw this came out a few days ago and we kind of discussed it with big news everyone in crypto uh knew about this going on because you know the big thing behind crypto is mass adoption so anything that gets you know cryptocurrency into the public eye and yeah. you know to be frank uh, porn is a pretty public eye so being able to get a cryptocurrency in front um it is a driving factor no matter how you you cut it yeah. um to to getting you know cryptocurrency to a, a mass adoption style whether or not this was is going to be as the video described um something that that you know pioneers is going forward you know that that's really what we're here to talk about today or if there's something yeah. a little bit shadier going on um and they kind of this is a smoke screen of what's going on yeah it's interesting man um you, there's so many ways you can look at this first of all if you think about like crypto from the beginning uh with like silk road and everything like that with bitcoin like people thought it was like this terrible thing like only criminals use it and it's like you know, we finally kind of got over that hump as far as like crypto is concerned. Now we got like this other form of crypto out here, this altcoin that's like, they had this huge big announcement. They got tons of money. Like they did this huge fundraiser for this announcement that everyone's like really excited about. And it's like, they haven't even come with a rape protocol yet. And people are like dying for that. And it's been like three freaking times that they've like postponed that. And they're like, oh, huge big announcement, partnership, blah, blah, blah. Everyone gets really excited. Everyone donates all this coin. And that happened really fast too. Like I wasn't expecting it to happen that quick. And they come out and they're like, porn hub. And it's just like, oh wow. Um, a little bit, a little underwhelming. Maybe some people were excited. Yeah, it, it, it wasn't something, I mean, when we think about like a partnership, you know, everyone's hoping for something, you know, at, at the end of the day, cryptocurrency, um, it, it's supposed to be a replacement to fiat. It's supposed to be a form of wealth storage. Uh, the fact that a, it's being accepted by site and doesn't really matter the industry at the end of the day the industry doesn't matter the size of the industry and the number of transactions matter i don't know much about the porn industry honestly and like what they do i know that they're like well i have a few i have a few ideas of what they do jeff yeah yeah but i mean like business wise like as far as like their numbers and whatnot like it's a multi-billion dollar industry no no doubt about that like they mm -hmm. always talk about that almost every year about how it like eclipses pretty much every other form of entertainment out there except for like video games but like for them to be accepting Verge, it, it, Pornhub made money too off of this. Like, you know they were making money off of this. And oh, the absolutely. Is, they pumped the crap out of this coin, right? And the thing is, it's like, is it a good move, you know? like, Yeah, it, it really comes down, I think, um, and we're going to talk about this very shortly, is being able to um, get any partnership up, you know, to kind of cover up the, the negative aspects behind Verge. Um, let, let's roll back a little bit here. This right here is a an article. Um, if you don't know anything about Hyped on Crypto, Hyped on Crypto will do articles on almost a you know weekly basis on coins, and this is all original content created by you know members of our own community. Um, you know you can check us out on Discord and interact with you know the same writers who write these content, and they put hours upon hours of research into this stuff for you guys. Um, but Verge Coin was actually originally Dogecoin Dark. Started back in 2016, and since its start. It's been very much kind of the Facebook style of, you know, move fast and break things where they're just big on hype, um, building up really the idea of a project before so much the actual tangible use case of the project. Um, and, and we see this in like the Wraith protocol. We see this in, the, you know, this newest move with, with Pornhub um, where it was really about the hype before the project. And then, you know, the, the news hits and then all of a sudden, um, it's kind of like on on to the next thing personally like i haven't seen a lot from verge as far as like technology goes it's, it's a lot of vapor and yeah. they even have like they're still using some of the old technology that they're using like from when they were uh, uh dogecoin dark like what like 
they have a ton of money behind them. Like, I mean, I've worked with startups. Like, I understand how these things work. I understand how like rapid iteration is important. You should fail fast. You should move along. You should pivot if you need to. So, I get it if they're rebranding, like they're pivoting. But like, what has come out of that, to be honest, other than just more pump into that particular type of crypto, and and just like taking advantage? Because there's always new people coming to the market. You know, maybe people are going to make money on Verge, which they should. I mean, it got pumped, and if you didn't take profits, like shame on you. But like, if you're someone who believes in technology, I don't know. I just don't see it with Verge, and with the way Verge is moving, like you just don't see that with them at all.、Um, you'd hope that there'd be other coins out there that'd be doing better than that.、Um, I mean, look at Monero. This is supposed to be like a security coin, like, and I get it. It makes sense. Like, it's in the porn industry, right? Like, people are like probably don't want to have certain information shared、yeah. or whatever. So I get like why that would be like practical, but they don't even do a good job like with their security coin. Like, yeah, I think the idea behind you know the big use case for for Verge is its its ledger supports both public and private transactions.、Um, so you so you have the ability to switch between the two. Why would you want to switch? Why not always stay private? Yeah, well, you know, privacy. I think in 2018 is is really the big push for coin. So that's why it's so interesting that. You know, Pornhub partnered with Verge because there's other privacy coins out there with you know stronger technology background. You know, the partnership here there just really isn't anything that's you know specific to to Verge as far as you know why back Verge and Pornhub. You know, what's what's the、um, what's the advantages here? It, it's definitely a top 50 coin, but there's just more coins out there with that would better fit this bill. If this is something that would advantageous to Pornhub, it makes you start to wonder, you know, why, why this partnership and why now? Other than if it's to, you know, hype up the price,、yeah. or if there's more to it. Yeah, I don't know. I just think I think it was a good hustle. Like, you know, you get a couple of people out there, a lot of the personalities in crypto that are traders that tend to do,、um, you know, fundamental analysis as well as technical analysis. People that really know coins, they've been in the game for a while. Um, they're like, yeah, they 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 feel that、um, the head the the guy the head CEO of Verge I can't remember his name right now、um, the main guy who came from you know Dogecoin Dark like it's the same dude、um, people feel that he's kind of scammy kind of like used car salesman like just kind of a hustler kind of guy like I mean people would think that he and I would hang out like. Like just street clothes or whatever, but like this dude's like multi-millionaire, like owner of this company, this crypto coin, and he's just freaking like not being a presentable, you know, guy. Like I mean, I know how to be presentable. I've had to dress well. I've had to be a certain kind of caliber of you know person in order to represent a business. And it's like I just don't see this guy doing any of that. And maybe. Maybe it's more or less like the generation we're in, like that kind of stuff doesn't need to happen anymore. But I mean, you got you know Zuckerberg over here wearing like suits and stuff when he needs to, or at least a polo. But you know, Verge boy over here, he's got the backwards cap on and the freaking hoodie on, and he's just like I don't know, got like a bong in the background or something. As like the head of you know this huge multi. Million dollar, if not, how what is what is the market cap on Verge right now, dude? He's near more than millions. It's like up in the billions now. It's a billion dollar coin,、um, for sure, and it's 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 a hundred percent a a top performing coin,、um, especially when we saw the the bull run up in you know Q four last year. You know, there's a、yeah. lot of hype behind Verge, so it's definitely a hype coin, and it's not one of those coins that.、Um, You, you know where where the community might be a little bit ambiguous, or if there's you know not too much support. This coin has support. It has the fundamentals, and they make choices. And we're going to get in that right now. But they make choices、yeah. that make you question whether or not、um, you know what what's what's the what where is this going? You know what how as me as an investor investing in the the project,、um, hoping to move forward with this project, or is this just something that I'm going to. Buy buy the hype and sell the news on. You know, is that all I'm going to do when I see Verge? Is oh, there's a new、um, rumor coming out. Verge, okay, let's fill up bags and let's sell whatever it is. And I don't really support the coin, and that's not the the movement you really want behind your coin、um, when you're talking about something you want to move to to the next step in the game.、Um, cryptocurrency, it, it, it's it's a volatile market. 
and as investors become you know more burned from you know bad bad trades um people are going to lose faith in your project and, and that's something that you really want to be be skeptical of um and if we we come over here to verges you know about verge you know what is verge it's a cryptocurrency designed for people and for everyday use it improves upon the original bitcoin blockchain and aims to fulfill the initial purpose of providing individual and businesses with a fast efficient and decentralized way of making direct transactions that sounds like every cryptocurrency man exactly. uh, it has a generic statement that could be applied to every single um yeah. cryptocurrency so, so they're like oh bitcoin but better like okay. yeah so you know we're looking at this and we're like okay you know what, what what's the roadmap where are things going and then we see the, this partnership and you know there's a lot of hype behind it and you start to dig around and this is where it gets really interesting so on april 4th you know this was only a few weeks ago um verge suffered a 51 percent attack now for those of you who don't know what 51 percent attack is i'll leave a link in the description below because jeff i think you did a a fantastic breakdown of not just what 51 percent attack is but some other uh, you know multiple definition when it comes to cryptocurrency um everyone's familiar with you know things that are applicable to multiple you know markets whether it be forex or stocks as far as like investment terms but there's some certain uh things that can yeah there's some certain things that can happen in crypto that are pretty significant so in this particular 51 percent attack um what the attacker did wasn't like a, a real 51 percent attack it was a little bit more of a a back-end kind of move right right so the so what happened here was that the attacker was able to um take over a specific algorithm's hash rate um mm. so a little backstory about verge verge is be able to be mined by multiple alg algorithms um i'm a big miner myself and you know we have a growing mining community in, in the discord so if you guys are, are big into mining go ahead and check us out on, on our discord but uh the thing that's kind of unique to to verge is that it, it can be mined by you know these other algorithms so whether it be script x17 lira 2 rev 2 um there's there's these different algorithms and a particular algorithm algorithm script had had a fairly low uh network hash rate so a, a person was able to get an uh, enough hash rate to take over 51 percent uh, of the of the network now when you own 51 percent of the hashing power you're able to you know control it control it you can implement changes to the blockchain and and those will be changes that are, are that are pushed forward so you know things could be super um uh controversial super <laughs> super devastating to the blockchain it could be you know people completely uh stop blocks from being mined or in this case it could be an extreme yeah extremely um beneficial to the person who executes the attack so what happened here they they exploited this so they were able to inject fake timestamps into the into their their mining software um so basically what happened is if you know anything about mining you know mining is is done on a timestamp system so it's based on uh, rewards per transactions um and and they're released at a very uh finite um time and date so what the attacker did was by controlling the timestamp that's on the blockchain he he basically accumulated 20 million verge in the course of like two three days that's you know a couple million dollars and it, this was huge multiple people were up, upset by this because it, it was very obvious on the blockchain um that this happened it was basically a 20 million coins lost a verge coin um and this happened on april you know april 4th and posted on april 5th but you know this is not that long this is a couple of weeks ago um so with this happening with all these coins that released to the attacker um the outlook from verge was you know it could have been worse it could they could have done something really detrimental to the blockchain and in this case they they got some free coin about it and they, they were really under the rug about it this is one of the things that where it comes down to you know are they hyping up this collaboration because they didn't want the negative publicity probably when you're dealing with miners in your in your coin you know in, in cryptocurrency th those are really who you have to understand that that they're going to be the first to go without in this ecosystem you need miners on your your blockchain to be able to you know keep the system right, alive well, i mean here's the thing this is not just a verge issue as far as like performing like getting like progressing toward having a more stable coin. And I mean, look at Tron. Tron can do a whole bunch of things. And 
doesn't actually do anything, but it makes people money, you know, because if you buy a fat bag of Tron, like you'll be all right sometimes. But you know, you look at Bitcoin, at least Bitcoin can be used as currency as slow as it is, it's used. Same thing with uh, Light, Litecoin, you know, they're, they're getting more debit cards out there and people are using it. There's more value behind it. Like Verge is like, cool. Like you can, you can buy porn with our coin. <laughs> you know, I don't know. It would be cool if they had like other, you know, use cases for it. And, and it would be great if their security was better, you know? And like I said, you are really waiting for that Wraith protocol to come out. And it's like, come on, it's been delayed three times. Like, come on, like how much more money do they need to just like get things going? Like, it makes you just kind of wonder what's the actual problem here? It's not finance. Like they have plenty of, of capital their runway is insane yeah absolutely you know any blockchain that suffers that kind of attack that that's huge and for that to be you know followed up with you know a really hyped up event that you know you said before jeff you know is really underwhelming when we look at it in the greater you know the, the grander scheme of things um i it, it is significant that we're getting more exposure for it to be something for them to you know basically push towards investors and to um crowdsource funds for to you know raise this this um as, as an advertising you know campaign that's when you start to have to question the integrity of the coin especially yeah. when we're looking at coins that are going to survive to you know make it on to the 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 next step in the cryptocurrency uh cryptocurrency evolution why did they rebrand I, i'm not saying if you rebrand you're bad i'm not saying if you if you rebrand it's it's an immediate red flag the reason why did they rebrand you know was it just to like wipe the slate clean and like just start going again? Was it to create a whole new like coin? What What is new in, in Verge that, that has changed from Dogecoin dark? You bring up a good point when when investment, you know, the the strategies behind the, the team and the coin focus on, you know, rebranding, changing, you know, their next big event coming up is the changing of their website, which, you know, it, it's kind of like, you're looking at it from an investing standpoint, you know, if you're a, a bag holder in this coin if you're trying to believe in this coin um you know where, where are the fundamentals to associate with you know where are the uh, partnerships that actually have a tangible um value here so with that said i i think that um you know doing your own research on on coins like these and doing your your own research when events come out and not to fomo in um you really want to stick to you know buying the hype and selling the news when it comes to you know these kind of um announcements and just go go in with very skeptical um if it's not a it's something that you know is going to support the cryptocurrency ecosystem as a whole um and if it's something really you know uh ambiguous like you know oh a big partnership you just have to be skeptical um you just have to you know manage your risk uh don't don't you know liquidate all all, all your capital to go into you know go in long on this coin that's how you're going to get burned in, in these kind of markets yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, guys, um, it, it's been great having you here with us. Uh, go ahead and comment down below or go ahead and check us out on Discord where we can talk about Vergecoin, this collaboration, and a ton of other uh, currencies coming up. And we're going to do our best to keep you guys up to date with all things crypto. Um, again, Jeff, thank you so much for coming on to, on to the show today. No FOMO Crypto Bro, that's his handle. You know him and you love him. You can check him out over on his YouTube. Um, and he'll go over you know the 51% attack and a ton of other really relevant um, cryptocurrency terms that will help you start to you know come to the same conclusions as we do when we're when we're looking at coins so um, guys as always keep your hands strong uh, remember the Lambos to the moon and you know Jeff you got anything for these guys before we go uh, man don't FOMO man know exactly what's going on in the market man. get 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 studied up do your own due diligence awesome thanks guys <laughs>